After we went to a dental clinic to book a schedule for our dental checkup, we decided to try and have a manicure, pedicure, and foot spa in Oriental Touch Spa which is located in Baliwag, Bulacan. They offer a lot of services such as facial treatments, wellness therapies, manicure, pedicure, and foot spas. The place was overall relaxing and clean. Plus, they also have free Wi-Fi for the customers. I just got home from a very long day, and kanina umaga na receive ko na yung second Aldea box ko. Pero hindi ako nag-haul kasi nga nagmamadali ako umalis. This contains makeup products and skincare products, but ipaprioritize natin ang skincare products ngayon since nasa loob tayo ng banyo. Believe the True Cream Aqua Balm. Actually guys, ito yung pinakamahal na nakuha ko sa Aldea. This cost me around 1,600 pesos, pero okay lang yun since nanalo nga ako ng 100 US dollar shopping credit sa Aldea, so wala talaga akong ginastos. Next, I have here this low pH good morning gel cleanser. Madami nagre-rave about this product, so binili ko siya. Itatry ko siya sa aking combination skin type kung okay ba siya. Well, hopefully maging effective siya sa akin. So next, facial wash that I have here is this salicylic acid daily gentle cleanser. So sabi ng kaibigan ko guys na magandang combination yung low pH good morning gel cleanser chaito. Like, yun yung sa umaga, ito yung sa gabi. Next, I have here this Acne Pimple Master Patch from the same brand. And isa lang yung binili ko since itatry ko lang siya. And narinig ko guys na maganda to as in effective siya kapag kunwari, in-extract mo na yung pimple. Like, ito yung parang gagawin mong spot treatment. Ito yung itatapal. Tignan ko din yan since meron akong dalawang pimple dito but actually wala na isin. Ito na lang pala. Now, I'm going to proceed with the salicylic gentle cleanser. The toners are just too drying for my skin. That's why I switched to micellar water. The leaf, the true cream aqua balm. So, tignan natin ang galing nito. So today is a Monday morning and obviously I didn't go to school. I actually have valid reasons, so chill. But the first reason is because I didn't get enough sleep last night. Like I don't know what's with Katniss last night. Like she keeps on waking up during the hours of morning. So I was like, you're already four years old, why do you keep on waking up during the hours of morning? So for the second reason, due to lack of sleep last night, I experienced headache earlier this morning. So my mom told me not to go to school. Because she knows that I wouldn't be able to focus on my studies because I didn't get enough sleep. So since I'll be staying at home for the whole day, I have decided to make something productive, at least for my case. And that's to film a Q&A video. So for the first question, why do you wear makeup? Is it necessary? So although I love makeup so much, I wouldn't say that it is necessary because people can actually live without it. Like, na-stuck lang kasi tayo sa mindset na gumaganda ang isang tao kapag naka-makeup. Like, no. Gumaganda ang isang tao kapag maganda ang kalooban niya. And do you get what I mean? If you're on full makeup, but then your personality or attitude isn't that good, it will still reflect on the outside. So, patangit pa rin yung aura mo. So, I only wear makeup whenever I have to be more presentable in front of people because, of course, hindi naman ako pwedeng naka bare face habang nagre-report sa klase o kaya kung may event sa school, ganyan. Siyempre, kailangan na naka-makeup, di ba? Para mas lalong presentable. Advice for those who wants to start vlogging. So, my advice for those who wants to start vlogging is to start now. Kung ayaw nyo ngayon, eh di bukas. If you don't like tomorrow, then the day after tomorrow. It's up to you guys. It doesn't matter about the equipment you have or ano editor yung gamit mo. What matters yung content or yung idea or kung ano ginagawa mo sa video mo. And actually for me, vlogging requires both self-confidence and strong will. Advice for those teenagers 
na gusto mo wala ang pimples or small bumps sa face. Effective and affordable skincare product and makeup brand. For those of you who don't know, I actually experienced acne breakout last year. Nag-improve na siya ngayon. And I'm not saying that I have clear skin because I still get breakout whenever I don't eat properly. Like, I don't get enough sleep, I get stressed, something like that. You have to control your diet. Kasi minsan, sa diet lang yun eh. Like, kung ano kinakain mo ganyan, kumuhi ka sa oily foods, baka yun yung dahilan. Minsan, naman sa products na mga ginagamit. Kunwari, hindi ka hiyang sa products na yun. Pero, porket hiyang siya sa iba, ginagamit mo ganyan. I would really suggest to drink a lot of water and avoid mo yung mga pagkain na makakasama. Like, too much oily foods, too much sweets too much salty food, like ganyan, like dapat balance lahat. And also, exercise regularly. For the makeup brand, I would really suggest Fashion 21, Caroline, and Every Belena. But for skincare products, yung sinabi ko na tofu soap, na Thai product ata yun eh, like na-feature ko siya dun sa dati kong yung skincare, how I got rid of my acne breakout, like nandun yung tofu soap na sinasabi ko, as well yung snail white na soap, like, for me, yun yung parang pinaka-cheapest na effective na skincare product. What or who served as your inspiration in creating a YouTube channel? Just to be honest with you, ang talagang naging inspiration ko sa paggawa ng videos is yung pangarap ko. Sisikat mo lang pangarap ko na yun. Nakaya, baka hindi kumabot, di ba? What ethnicity am I? I get this question a lot. Like, I don't know why. Sabi ng iba kong relatives na we have Spanish and Chinese blood. But I don't know if that's true. But what I do firmly believe in is that I'm a full Filipino. If there would be one food that you're allowed to eat in your entire life, what would it be? This is a difficult question. But since I'm an anemic person, I would go for Ampalaya. I still have a lot of questions in here to be honest. Is it difficult to be a YouTuber because you have to balance it with other things? So okay guys, I am not a full-time YouTuber so I don't actually find it difficult to balance everything because it's up to me kung kailan ako mag-upload like kung gusto ko ba mag-upload this week or hindi so hindi talaga ako na pressure kung kailan ako mag-upload kasi wala akong deadline How old are you? Where are you studying? And what course? So I'm already 19 years old currently studying RTO Baccalaureus in English Language Studies Far Eastern University, Manila how would you describe yourself? So I would describe myself as a strong, optimistic, independent, motivated, an introvert or extrovert. I'm kind of like in between. So I would rather say that I am an ambivert. How old were you when you first learned how to drive a car? I was actually in second year high school that time. So I was around 11 or 12 years old. So I was really that young. How does it feel that we only have one year left before we graduate in college? Any plans after that? Likewise, with what I'm doing right now, I feel very nervous slash excited. Nervous kasi sabi nila, yun nga, thesis na, may yun daw mag-thesis. But, kaya natin yan. Excited because at last, matatapos na rin tayo. School has been very tough, so I'm really excited to finally graduate. Hopefully, I could go to another country to teach English. Like, my dream is to become a lawyer, to be honest. But, of course, hindi na ako pwede dumipende sa magulang ko for my tuition fee for that, right? I have to use my degree first and save up for law school. If you would be given a chance to change something on your body, what would it be and why? So I don't think I'd like to change something about myself or on my body because I'm happy with what I have. Even though I have a lot of flaws, those flaws makes me me, unique from other people. If people will only love me if I will change something about myself, I would rather be unloved. How would you motivate someone who wants to start vlogging but is shy because he or she is afraid of getting bashed? This is one of the things that you should master the most. Like, kailangan mo mahandle yung mga bashers mo in a professional way. Kasi hindi talaga mawawala yan kahit gumawa ka ng mabuti, gumawa ka ng masama, meron at meron ka pa rin magiging basher. I don't know po anong nasa isip ng mga yan, so ano pong problema nyo. I would really suggest na huwag mo silang papatulan, like sasagutin mo rin sila ng pabalalbal. Kasi parang nilelevel mo lang yung sarili mo sa kanila, pinapababa mo yung sarili mo. And don't let that happen. Make sure to be wise in replying to those bashers. Yung tipong reply na intellectual, pero at the same time, tatamaan sila kanya. But as much as possible, like, 
shrug it off. Kasi yun yung pinakamagandang revenge, guys, eh. Like, lang mo pa parang ganyan. That I'm at an all-time. <laughs>